Well, welcome everybody. Uh, you know who I am, and... Well, let's just get to it. It's pretty obvious what this is. <laughs> oh god, uh... Normal? Why not? <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> been looking forward to playing this for a while now. Just haven't gotten around to it, but got my lamp going, lights off, volume up, of course. And we're back. September 17th, 2013, from an email to milesupsher at gmail.com. Subject, tip, illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me, might have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I'm very much breaking right now. But seriously, fuck those guys. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkov is making money. It needs to be exposed. Something in the distance. <laughs> Good. Got a camera. Check something in your port in your portal notebook, hey notes. Pick up documents. Alright, one second guys, I need to change a couple settings, I'll be right back. Alright everyone, sorry about that. I had to invert my controls. Don't know why I have to do that's just how I've, I've, I've always played. So, we just made it to Whatever this place is called. Mount Massive, that's it. And we are trying to. Hmm. Trying to get inside. To open the door, press X. To open the door slowly, hold down X and move forward and backwards. Okay. Starting to feel sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record disguising profit as charity, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they'd get out of this place has to be big. It might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Okay. That was someone over there. Okay, it's John. Oh my goodness. Ah, there you go. Run the corner. Oh, 
Okay. A little bit of lag there. There's a window open. Let's try going up the scaffolding. Climbing up. Yay! I did it, guys. In the video, Outlast completed. I made a jump. Thanks for watching, everybody. Now, if you're still watching, you'll know I was just. <laughs> You know, that's how I judge a bunch of games. If you can look down and see your character's body, feet, toes, hands, they actually kind of interact with the ground. I like that. How many games have that anymore? Good. It's dark. Ah, wonderful. How dark is it? Whoa, it's just black. Okay. That's just a book. Button. Okay, well, so far, not so good. Uh, that's weird. Just there's a picture of a priest on the wall. Okay. Bring surround sound headset. <laughs> As usual, the first thing that makes me jump is something pathetic. A TV turned on and I jumped. I guess I'm too tense, maybe that's what it is. Hey, found a battery. Hey, you can reload while pressing the uh, Y. Okay. Here at the door. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Project Wallrider. Mount Massive Company, case number 174, patient initials, <laughs> patient initials WPH, also known as Billy. Consultation dated 2012-10-14, October 14th, 2012. Initial date of patient consultant, January, February, March, April 12th of 2009. Yes, I had to count that up. Patient age, 19. Gender male, observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR, whatever that is. I'm sure someone knows in the comments, but yeah. Therapy status, patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observed at, un observed, observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometry revealed no bronchial ac accumulation. Hematocrit centrifuge again failed to separate enthrocytes. Highly worrisome. MRI re I can't speak. MRI revealed arrhythmic 
REM, NREM cycle, laughter and NREM state, interview notes. Billy asked about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkov in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claim he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric System Project All Right Mouse. Okay. Well. Okay. Have fun in the bathroom, buddy, pal, gal, girl, guy. Why am I playing this for you guys? Jonathan, you owe me if you're watching this, but you better be. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. I walked in blood, now I got blood with the prince. This game is awesome, as far as little things go. Oh, good. A dark air event. I'm guessing that was the guy who locked himself in the bathroom, maybe? Oh well. And yes, I am very jumpy. Sorry if that offends anybody. Okay. Okay, well, that just happened. My timer went off also. Like, clicked off. Ah. <laughs> Alright, well. <laughs> Sorry, that's how I deal with being scared. I laugh. This guy appears to have been headed there there buddy it'll be okay I promise you it's all right it's all over okay moving on. hopefully that up eh, there's another dead guy excuse me buddy battery's getting low This, this is pretty cool. Okay, battery's dying. Let me switch that out. There's a lot of dead bodies. They killed us. They got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Well. Oh, I show those are heads. Well, when the heavily armed security or heavily armored security guard has a spike uh, in places, it's time to leave. I'm inside, bodies everywhere, blood, burn marks, heads lined up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkov scientists hung from the ceiling, their bodies, their, yeah, their badges say Murkov Advanced Research Systems. Murkov's longtime MO has been, has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkov think they would make money off a building full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical cap pinned on like a pig on a spit. Cop, not cap. 
tells me get out and then dies. It would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Well, alright then. As always, I'm gonna watch my language. Just if I'm reading something, I'm. Great. Someone just went inside their room over there. Wunderbar. Can you give me a hand with wipe in there, buddy? Okay. That was a terrible joke. Okay, the big guy was in there. Let's not go that way, shall we? Little fake. <laughs> Holy crap! Pretty sure he'd be dead after that fall. Who are you then? Very concerned player. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Yeah, I got a calling. I need to leave. I don't know how you could su That's good. At least it ended up like that guy. Escape the asylum, access the security con security control to unlock it. <laughs> Is he headless too? Yep. What's with taking people's heads off? It's like a theme in most games. Hey, cover. Just gonna borrow these since you won't be needing them. Oh, whoops. The Murkoff Corps, United States Office, warrant for seizure, case number 29, whatever. In the matter of the seizure of Mount Massive Psychiatric Center, Murkoff Psychiatric Systems, Mount Massive Wilderness Area, Country Road, Country Road, 112. Affidavits, <clears throat> affidavits have been made for the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS. Who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination? We are satisfied that the affidavits, affidavits, and testimony establish sufficient evidence to establish su sufficient, sufficient, sufficient yeah, evidence to require urgent action on the part of uh, MHS and grounds for the issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corps or its subsidiaries for the action of MHS or the circumstances of circumstances which required their actions regardless of responsibility. Alright guys. Uh... Well, it's been about 20 minutes. Actually, no, it hasn't. Eh, let's go a tad bit more, shall we? That door's closed. Oh, this one's open. Well, so far, so nothing at the moment. If I'll read this document, then we're going to call it a video, because this is, this is running a little bit longer, but eh, you know, whatever. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider, Mount Massive Company, case number 136, patient initials CLW Walker. 
Consultation dated May 28th of 2013. Initial date of patient consult, January 28th of 2011. Patient age, 32. Gender male, during physician, Dr. Rudolf Wernicke. Notation by Dr. Walsh. Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 parts per million, unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accum accumulation. I don't want to keep saying it weird. Accumulation. Uh, MRI scans consistent with patient reported dreams. Interview notes, Walker had... Uh, <laughs> Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions are cons as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. It seems to have some boyhood experience with tuatara lizards in their parietal eyes. Parietal eyes. Whatever. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orally should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His uh, ME is that the morphogenic engine, morphogenic engine process. His predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Okay. Well, the big guy is Walker. Billy is the one who seems to be having the most progress with the morphogenic engine. And my guy is hopelessly screwed. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you very shortly. We'll continue right off from here. See you around, guys.